like that shit. I can't match with you. What's great, Twitch Boy Lethal, and today we're reacting to Fall and Rise of My Hero Academia. Now, um, watch us by Moodly, you feel me? Um, but I, I dropped this show probably a, a year ago now. Yeah, I think it was like the start of 2022 where when I dropped the manga. Cause I feel like there was there was times that was like supposed to be hyped or like lit that like they just like missed on, in my opinion. You feel me? And like yeah, but let's see what this dude has to say. You feel me? And yeah, yeah, fell also, off. How many below. times have you heard that before? Over the last, My Hero Academia fell off. How many times have you heard that before? Over the last couple of years, it's been pretty popular to hate on the series. And even yeah. though most of it's been way overblown, in my opinion, some of it was kind of justified. Because the series made a mistake no shonen should ever make. But season 6 has been unlike any of the previous seasons, in a good way. It's almost like an entirely different series. Today, I want to talk about the mistake My Hero Academia made and how it fixed that mistake in season six. Watch me, bro. Also, any spoilers? Who, 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 who like, isn't really caught up to the um, manga? But I heard that um, Bakugo died, but he somehow came back. You feel me? And I don't really like when shows do that for real. Like, like, for example, in um, Dragon Ball Z, people can just get wished back. You feel me? That, that, that's kind of that's kind of weak to me. It's kind of it kind of downplays their death, in my opinion. Like, I don't really know how he died and how he came back because I dropped the show. But that's just like so weak to me. The mistake My Hero Academia made was getting too comfortable. Now you may ask, what the hell does that even mean, Moodly? Well, before I get into that, we have to go over narrative structure. Usually, longer series can be split up into three different acts, with an occasional prologue and epilogue. The first act is an introduction to the world and the main conflicts the protagonists of the story have to deal with. The second act is the development of the characters and the conflicts in the story. And the third act is the finale, where the story reaches a climax and all of the conflicts come to a conclusion at the end. The problem with My Hero Academia begins with the end of the first act. An act is usually divided into four main parts. The introduction, the buildup, the climax, and the resolution. To analyze what My Hero Academia did wrong, I'll be comparing it to its sibling series, Black Clover and Demon Slayer. Without any um, well, I don't know what we about to say, but in my opinion, season one was like fire. I ain't gonna lie. It's just they just missed on the my uh, on the all might fight. They missed bad on that fight. That fight was so many major that spoilers, was so of course. Fight. All that three of these fight. series start Act One by introducing their world as well as the main character and his goals. Tanjiro trying to cure his sister in a world where demons exist, Asta trying to become the wizard king in a classist magic kingdom, and Deku trying to save people and become the number one hero in a supernatural society. Then comes the build up. Demon Slayer's build up is Tanjiro's encounters with different demons and him meeting different people. Black Clover's uh -huh. build up is all of Asta and the Black Bulls' confrontations with the elves and how their plans unfold. My Hero Academia's build up is season 2, where Horikoshi develops all of his characters and foreshadows an incoming change in the world. All of this build up leads to the Act 1 climax of all three of the series, where the good guys have a final battle and put everything on the line against the villains. So far in Act 1, all of the series do well. Black Clover had a slow start, but by the climax it definitely solidified itself as a good story. Demon Slayer didn't have much depth to definitely solidified itself as a good story. Demon Slayer didn't have much depth to it, but it was still really enjoyable all the way through. But while you can make an argument for the other two series- Sorry, but I, I don't like how Demon Slayer gets hate for how the animation like carries its fights, which is like a stupid take in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie, because like I feel like fights nowadays are supposed to have good animation. You feel me? Because I be seeing stuff on Twitter and like and like I seen someone say that 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 this show was carried by 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 its animation, but I feel like the story is is like a cool 
it's like a it's like a it's a mid story, but like but like I can't explain it, but like it, it like fits. Like I can't really explain it. It's having a better climax. Like, My Hero Academia had a better. I think the I think the story is good for what the show is. Better it's overall act I'm one from the introduction to the climax. In my opinion, it was probably the most enjoyable of the three. It was this beautiful blend of American and Japanese comics we had never seen before. I loved all of the characters and what themes they represented. Horikoshi showed how good he was at writing. The series was basically primed to take over anime and manga for the next few years. But this is where the difference between the three series begin. The resolution of Act 1 and a majority of Act 2. Black Clover and Demon Slayer have a clear turning point where the writing style changes a lot. For Black Clover, it's when devils are introduced to the series and the introduction of Act 2, where multiple squads are attacked. For Demon Slayer, it's when Tanjiro and his group are introduced to the Hashira and learn about the 12 Kizuki. Both of these series got so much better because of it. The arcs got longer, tension got higher, it's so much more emotional. I could go on and on about how much both of these series improved. And you don't have to take my word for it, just look at the numbers. Black Clover became the most watched anime in 87 different countries, and Demon Slayer started Act 2 with a movie that became the third highest grossing traditionally animated movie of all time. On the other hand, My Hero has a really soft turning point, if any. While the tone around the villains of the series shift, and in my opinion they carry the series for basically all of Act 2, the protagonists pretty much continue doing what they're doing. Yeah, All Might went out of commission and we kinda see how the world copes with it, but it doesn't really affect our main protagonists. Yeah. Outside of the Yakuza arc, you can take pretty much any hero arc in season 4 and season 5, put it in act 1, and the tension wouldn't change at Not all. Right. In fact, it would probably go down. And while other people blame it on the slice of life aspect of the series, I would disagree with that entirely. We've seen other shonen series focus more on non-traditional aspects, like Hunter x Hunter exploring more mature themes, or One Piece's over-the-top goofiness, or Dr. Stone's focus on inventions and intelligence. These things add to the series, not hold it back. The problem is My Hero didn't immediately change its style of storytelling. It kept on yeah. focusing on training arcs and lukewarm hero missions, which could definitely pass in Act 1 where expectations are not that high, but in Act 2 where your audience is expecting tension to get higher, it's not really gonna fly over well. This He's right. Did that, what they did definitely, definitely did slow down the, the hype of like what the show was. This is what I mean when it got too comfortable. But it doesn't stay that way. The series makes a huge change for the climax of Act 2. Rise. Season 6 of My Hero is genuinely one of the biggest changes I've seen from season to season. Every single episode has you on the edge of your seat. The reason yeah. why is because it fixes the mistake it was making but, in season. But it shouldn't happen so late in the show. I'm pretty sure what, what what he's about to say soon. Like, season six, bro. <laughs> like, bro. And five by changing up the way it writes in it three way different ways. Late. Firstly, the stakes are raised. A lot. This isn't some training exercise in a controlled environment at the comfort of UA, or a battle against some small time villain that could maybe do some damage to a couple of people. The protagonists are finally on an important mission where whether they succeed or fail has a real effect on the direction the story She's goes. So Horikoshi does a really good job of keeping you feeling tense. You're constantly reminded of the stakes by the characters, and the series even gives you a glimpse of what could happen if the heroes fail every now and then. The second thing that it changes is its pacing. Compared to season 5 where things that really shouldn't have dragged on for way too long, season 6 is quick and concise. Yeah. It never spends too much time on a single scene. New events shake things up in almost every episode. That being said, it also doesn't skimp over important parts. Emotional right. moments are still treated with care, right. important revelations are fully fleshed out, and fights aren't turned into small skirmishes. The third and most important change 
change was the protagonist's attitude and involvement. The biggest problem with my hero during the second act was how insignificant class 1A felt. If my hero was a game, a lot of act 2 would be the part where you have to pause the main story and do a bunch of side quests to level up. After a while, it just got so tiring seeing the main protagonists removed from the main story. By finally including them, the characters we originally gained an attachment to finally feel like they're important again, and it shows in their demeanor. They take everything seriously, which was something that was missing for a long while. A lot of people dropped My Hero Academia, and sadly it was justified. The series went through a period where things just got repetitive, but yeah. I think season 6 genuinely makes up for it. The well, series re- I feel like you should not have to wait that long, bro. Season 6, uh, wasn't season 6 like just recently? animated like when like last year or something like that but the, the show been out since 2018 but it should not take four years for it to to like to like to like pick back up you feel me it's like bro realized what it was doing wrong and fixed it even though the same thing with boruto bro like bro boruto was literally four straight years of filler bro <laughs> Like, the build up bro, for it could have been better in the manga story is not even that good it's been really good and if you're not watching you should pick it back up anyways if you nah, enjoyed the video anymore. please like and subscribe um, it would help a lot much. i don't think i'm just not talking bro another thing as usual one thing that contributed to me dropping the show was the art direction everything was pretty on point for me in the show even when it came to the more slower parts but the choices in color palette and overall atmosphere did not engage me emotionally in the more dark or serious parts unlike how the manga does oh, season five nah i think i dropped the show it was like right after this arc it was after this arc then for anyone who's caught up with the manga all my anime uh only probably want to click off but they like introduced they like introduced this character from from america who was like supposed to be cold but then she got banged up on by um shigaraki she got like banged up on is and like i only like when shows like introduce someone who's like supposed to be like like a super strong character and then and then they, they just get like banged up on within like the next few chapters like it's like it's like why even introduce them in the first place in my opinion i'm not gonna lie because like we already knew how strong he was, or, or like we had a glimpse of how strong he was. So just introducing a character for him to beat is like kind of, kind of like, it's kind of like pointless to me. And then, and after that fight, I, I like dropped the show. So yeah, you feel me? This is a good video. You feel me? I will leave the video link down below in the description. You feel me? And yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Have a blessed day. Peace. Then she gon' pull out the tape and tie me up, then lock me away. That bitch, she said that she hate me. I am not faced. My niggas waiting at your place. For all this shit, let's get I need to know how many niggas you've played. How did you take off your tape? She looking right at me, yeah, she swears into the lake.